This is Jessica Hagman, and in this video, I'm going to take a look at the advanced search options in Twitter as a way to find out when people are talking about your library, even when they haven't used your Twitter handle or used your library's full name. I'm starting out on the advanced search page for Twitter, which is search.twitter.com slash advanced, and I'm going to enter my search terms into this first box. I'm going to look for the word library or lib. Um, and this is a straight boolean or search. And I'm searching for LIB because I know from experience that people say sometimes I'm at the library or sometimes they just shorten it to LIB. And then I'm going to scroll down and set the location. So I'm going to look for people who have mentioned this, these words within 10 miles of the zip code of my library. So within 10 miles of 45701. And then scroll back up to the top of the screen and click search. On your results page you'll have all of the tweets that match your results although this will include only those people who have set a location for their tweets and people who have not set a location will not be included here. From the search page you can click the link to get an RSS feed that says feed for this query and from this page you could add this to Google Reader or your favorite RSS reader. What's useful about keeping your results in an RSS reader is that they shouldn't stay in your RSS feed as long as you leave them there, rather than the Twitter search, which only seems to stay active for about a week. So a week from now, I wouldn't be able to find any of these tweets. So that's been a quick look at the advanced search for finding people mentioning your library on Twitter. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.